Oliver, you want to do a training video? You want to do a training video? So, Oliver fans, we've got a couple of requests from viewers for a training video giving some tips on how to train your beagle. So, I'm going to present three tips today, things that were useful to us when we were training Oliver. So, the first tip I have is to use treats. Uh, Oliver is really into treats. So, we were able to use that to our advantage when we were training him. So, I have to say, Oliver pretty much only does tricks for us when either we have a treat in our hand or we're close enough to a treat that he thinks he might get a treat. So he'll do tricks for us here in the kitchen because the treats are right up there on the treat bar. Uh, outside, it's still useful, I think, that we trained him because even though he might not actually do the thing we're asking him to do, when we give him a command outside, we can get his attention because he's immediately fixed on us to see, oh wait, do you have a treat? I didn't realize you had a treat. Okay, I might pay attention to you now. So uh, dogs are a little bit like humans. They like to get paid. So Oliver doesn't usually work for free. Usually he works for treats. So that's my first suggestion, use treats. Uh, second suggestion is to use a clicker. I don't know if you've heard of these things before. They're these little devices that uh, you can use with dog training. We got ours from a website online called karenpryor.com, but you can get it in pet stores as well or on different websites. So whenever Oliver sees this, he gets excited because he knows that the uh, clicker is part of his training ritual. So the reason you use a clicker is to remove the lag time between when your dog does the thing that you want your dog to do. Yes, Oliver, I know you're gonna get a treat in a second between the moment that your dog does the thing you wanted and the notification that you give that your dog did the right thing. So uh, if you could just imagine, think inside your dog's head, um, your dog is making all kinds of different motions all the time. How does your dog know the right motion, the motion that you wanted? It could sometimes take a second or a couple seconds for you to actually deliver the treat to your dog after the correct motion was done. So with the clicker, you eliminate that lag. So let's do an example. All right, Oliver, I'm sure you'd love to do an example. So let me get my treats out and let's use the clicker. So sit, good, down, good. So those are some examples of how you use the clicker. You click as soon as your dog does the right motion. You can even do a roll over, roll over Oliver. Good boy. So uh, we recommend using clicker. We recommend using treats. And then the third recommendation we have is to use hand motions or hand signals. So when we were first training Oliver, of course he doesn't know words in the English language very well. It's actually, it was easier for him to pick up on our hand motions. So for every trick that Oliver knows, there's a corresponding hand motion. So I'll just show you a few right now. So um, I've already done the sit. That's what we do for sit, good boy. And here's what we do for paw, this is pretty, Pretty obvious. You put your hand up for paw. Good boy. And then it, this is great. He does a great high five. High five. High five. Wait, you didn't actually do a high five. Come on. Yes. Good boy. Um, so you can also use uh, your the treat to guide your dog through a new trick when you're teaching your dog. So this is a, kind of another way to use hand motions. Let me show you uh, how we first. Now, of course, Oliver knows how to do down, but how we first taught Oliver to do down, we, um, Oliver wants the treat, his <coughs> attention is focused on the treat, so you put the treat in, <coughs> in front of your dog, but then you put your arm, your other arm down as like a bar, and then your dog has to go under your arm to get to the treat. So, you want to try that again, Oliver? Just to make sure your viewers saw it, so do a sit. Good, down. Now, good. All right, so I hope that's a little bit helpful. I know that training a dog takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of patience. I'd recommend um, possibly enrolling your dog in a class um, that uses positive reinforcement and positive training at your local community center or your local doggy daycare. And I'm sure that you all probably have all kinds of suggestions uh, that you could share in the comments for how to train a beagle. We found that actually Oliver was pretty keen on training because he loves getting treats. So that's the moral of the story. Dogs like to get paid. All right.
You like that over? Oh yeah, he's like, yeah, I do like it. And I would like to do some more training, please, if I get some more treats. What do you think? Wanna do one more thing? Okay, we'll do some more training, but let's say bye for now. Bye.